Good to see Cam Reynolds back in the lineup for Austin this last game. He's part of the starting five. The only thing he's not doing very well, he's still comfortable handling the ball out there on the perimeter, just not shooting it well. Tyler Hall, the leaner in the paint, open and opens up the scoring for the Knicks. David, you mentioned it. Both uh, teams had a day off yesterday. Expect to see some pretty sharpness in their execution and running their sets, and uh, hopefully we get a good game here. Looking forward to the matchup between Luka and Iggy tonight. Should be a good one. I'm glad they're both guarding each other. Yeah, just noticed that on this end, too, they're matched up as Shitu. King hesitates. Driving it against Reynolds. King gets all the way inside and one. Lewis King, the rack attack. What a move here by Lewis King. Put Cam Reynolds on skates here and then with the strong finish. Like the move and like the take by Lewis King. Again, coming off a great performance in overtime. Keep them in shape and keep them going, playing games, but also to build up their confidence. Knicks get another steal. Harper pushing off balance and still banking it in. I mentioned Trey Jones handling it. Gets picked right Number here and then Jared Harper with a nice finish off the right leg. A lot of congestion underneath the hoop. Luka, right place, right time. Yeah, right place, right time is correct. <laughs> you have those. Maybe that'll be the bucket that gets Shamanich started. Chitu, patient underneath, just overpowers Nate Renfro, the leading shot blocker in the league. Razdakis on the crossover. Doesn't like the look, Harper does. And he buries a triple. With a right ankle injury, missed a handful of games, but when he's out there, a difference maker for the Knicks. Another tough bucket for Jared Harper. He's made both of his shots look pretty easy, and they have not been. <laughs> Jominich knocks down the three. Williams got caught inside. Harper slaps it away. And a good feed up ahead, Lewis King. Jared Harper just made, that wasn't a play. He just decided to do that. But we got Lewis King again. Back to Harper. Iggy driving in. The scoop shot is there. Knicks attacking the rim. Yeah, that was pretty quick. <laughs> Iggy driving in, the ball movement. King is open and he splashes down a three. Six assists on nine makes for the Knicks. The lob, Shabanich adjusting nicely on the catch and he's got another. When Jared Harper plays, Westchester is undefeated. He throws that off the glass and in. They bring in Scal, LaBCA, James Young, and Miles Powell as part of the second unit. This is Scal, set up by Harper. London Parentes off the bench, and he gets it to go. On the bounce, that was a good find. Kick out to the corner, an excellent ball movement. That looks more like Austin Spurs basketball. You're exactly right, David. Great pass by Robert Wood to the cutter. Austin finds the man over for quarter three. Austin's lucky to have a guy like Parentes as part of that second unit, a point guard with NBA experience. There's Lewis King. He can do no wrong right now, David. That must be a fun zone to be in. <laughs> Last in the league in three-point percent defense. This would have been a great matchup for you, Andre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they hit another three, you're right. The Knicks have been one of the worst defensive teams in the league by every measurable statistic. That's James Young, a corner three falling away. Nor sell yourself short, records. David. Sell yourself short. <laughs> Mix by six. This is Bryce Brown kicking out to James Young for another triple. I was about to say, he has plenty of experience in the NBA and G League, so not surprising to see him putting up big numbers to start. Kyler Kelly cleans it up. Hey. 
Chitu knocked it away. Two just outworked Kelly on that play. Very aggressive on the out of bounds under it. Didn't look like Kelly hustled too fast to get back. The Knicks have been pleasantly surprised with his consistent scoring ability. But somebody that you don't really have to run anything for, he's just kind of there. It really is a day-to-day -day proposition, isn't it, Andre, where one game you're the backup and then the next you could be starting and Chatu is there set up by Hall. One night is going to be your night to play a lot. And I'll tell you this, coaching staff and the players are not surprised by what Chatu is doing out there tonight. They've seen this. It's just often the fans. And but boy, did Westchester bypass good for a great look. Quick possession for Austin. A home run pass connects with Young. From good to great shot, like you said. And though that pass probably shouldn't have been completed full court, uh, I think they were favored because of that last possession. Basketball karma, you're making me very spiritual here. <laughs> First bucket for Trey in 11 minutes. Young, beyond the arc, in rhythm. Major surgery, major recovery. Uh, which is fine now, it's healed, uh, but my surgery doctor thought it best to not have my first return to action be in this type of environment, so. That is not a great consolation prize. <laughs> Never it's listen to your doctor. That's what I can think of, trust me. <laughs> I'm lucky your doc has your best interest in mind as Kenny Williams knocks it in. Shitu blocks Shamanich and takes the pocket pass to the hole on the other end. What a possession by Chateau right there. Mathis driving in for the layup. A couple of days ago, needed only the first half to score 10. London Parentes. Iggy Brasdakis is checked back in. And that pass intercepted by Parentes. Acrobatic and the finish. Locating Mathis from deep. Jominich, second effort. Fourth in the league in scoring, six in rebounds in his second year as a pro. First points for Westchester in about three minutes. And the run out to Chateau. Numbers, extra pass to Iggy. Jones locates Parentes. And the offensive rebound and stick back for Shamanich. Jones pushing without support. He gets inside as he goes around to Iggy. Uh, shooting the ball, so yeah, I, I'm a fan of the multiple free throws. Gives you a good rhythm. <laughs> Third time's the charm, Shitu follows the young miss. Said Iggy, this is my board. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that a time or two. But like you mentioned, David, I mean, to your point, the first play Austin runs out of the half is for a three-point. If Iggy's one rebound short of a double-double, he's going to find Simi after the game. <laughs> <laughs> after some offensive struggles through the first 24 minutes. Yeah, I thought he played very heads-up basketball at the end of that second quarter, getting to the free throw line a couple times. Attacking, attacking, getting himself out of that funk he was in earlier and getting on the board. Game's highest scorer is Lewis King, now with 16. Cam Reynolds, pull up, bucket. Couple of early lead changes. Otherwise, it's been Westchester's control. High for Chateau this year is 21. Nearly stolen away, Brasdakis takes advantage. Kenny Williams into a tough shot. Weak side rebound is for Jones and Renfro slicing to the cup. We've seen a few finishes tonight that these guys are making look easy that have not been so. That was not an easy finish by Renfro there. Austin running off the steal. Renfro from the top, gets to the bucket once again. Brasdakis 
was right underneath the cup, and he kicks out for a three for King. He's going to take Luca off the dribble and then lose it. Reynolds, pull up, pop. Good from deep. Nice stop and pop there. Nice, smoothly done. Renfro on the other end, though, active hands got that strip to start that transition. Harper set it up for Chateau, being selected in the second round of the 2019 draft. Jones walked into a pump fake to set up Reynolds. Anthony Mathis. Bounces it for Woodard the second. Knocked out of play, but it'll stay with Austin. Reynolds saying that he can see how Luca is getting more confident in his second year as a pro. There's Shamanich passing to the left. And that's a one-handed stuff. And Kings are not participating down at Lake Buena Vista, Florida. Shot clock expiring. Austin picking it up, running out for a transition triple. Oh, David is puzzling, man. I'm thinking, how in the world can Austin be up? But they've been great in this third quarter. And Mathis, like I mentioned in the first half, he is shooting the ball with extreme confidence right now. Austin trails by one. Mathis has been the hot hand. Gets it back. Mathis cans a three. Letting that ball go uh, sounds a lot like somebody on this telecast. Hey, come on. I'm a willing passer. <laughs> I bet you are. <laughs> James Young denied at the rim. You'd have to think that there is going to be a tiebreaker needed for that final spot. Harper, Chateau, the layup. You've referenced plus minus a couple times. Why is that such an indicator for you? Yeah, it's a big stat in my opinion. You know, we always go straight to the points, rebounds, assists, and look at those numbers that were wild by your players on the floor. You have to yell, wolf, wolf, wolf is the call. And uh, to get that done twice by James Young, that's on Austin's bench. Jared Harper turns the corner. Six and one to set up that showdown 24 hours from now against the Blue Coats. But if Westchester has something to say about it, they will follow up a victory over Ignite with the win this evening against the Spurs. Trey Jones, London Parentes. Cam Reynolds, Luka Shamanich, along with Nate Renfro. That's an excellent possession by Austin right there. Jared Harper high off the glass. Iggy. Off the glass and good. You mentioned it last possession. He was aggressive going to that basket. It didn't look like it. He didn't care who was under the rim that time. He was going to the rim. Renfro underneath. Razdakis likes this matchup. Finds the cutting. Shit two. And one. Simi shit two. That's a new season high. Their previous was 11 made threes in their opener against Memphis. Shit two. An athletic finish. Never came down with it. Obviously, I've been talking up shit two all game, but let's give some love to Jared Harper with the perfect pass right there. Tyler just two of six from beyond the arc. Mathis. Anthony Mathis has eclipsed his season high. He's been terrific getting a rest here in the fourth quarter before presumably his return to the lineup. Kick out Iggy. That's a three in rhythm for Brazdakis. Woodard the second. Getting it back. Strong finish. King using the scowl of BCA screen and lobbed it towards him. Woodard the second. Spinning around King, getting all the way in. I mean, he didn't make the shot. <laughs> that time he got it to fall. These are impressive moves these guys are making with the ball. He treated Lewis King like a cone. <laughs> a wide open lane for Jones. 
Chopper working in concert with Shatu. A couple of bounces on the rim. And that nearly went in on the follow, whether that was Shamanich. Trey Jones end to end, racing for the lay-in. Five Austin wins by an average of five points. All of them eight or less. This is a team that's been successful, but has been in close games late. Great statue, Vincent. They love living on the edge, I guess. That shot short, Shatu goes reverse to cut it to a one-point game. Woodard the second. Shalmanich off the pump fake, he drills it. Time and took that extra half second to make sure he had the ball in place and shooting it like he wanted to do. This time, he didn't have time to do that. He had to let it go. Harper, the answer, leaning in from beyond the arc. Shalmanich feeling it. Yeah, yeah. No hesitation. There it is. Goes to the corner, extra pass, King lets it fly, short. Back tap by Shatu, but it's Jones picking it up on the run and throwing it down. Finishing instead of dishing it out. Well, he didn't have anybody to pass it to on this play. Excellent dunk, a throw down. Trey Jones, after the dunk, throws it to Woodard the second. A wide open dunk underneath. That's no good, it's down to Hall. Pushing ahead to James Young. Hall the trailer and he bags that three. No, 10 seconds. Terrific matchup between Westchester and Austin. Knicks had an 18 point first half lead. Nine lead changes overall, the majority of them happening in the second half.